Hello, in this problem we are going to do a mathematical proof. Prove that for every real number x, if the absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than 3, then x squared is greater than 6x. Let's go ahead and go through the proof very, very carefully. So we have to show that this is true for every real number x. So I'm going to start by saying let x be an arbitrary real number. So I'm being a little bit more pedantic than I usually am just because I am in that mood today. <laughs> so you can just say let x be any real number, but we're going to say it's arbitrary. And then at the end of our proof, since we're letting it be some arbitrary real number and we don't know what it is, we can say because it's arbitrary, it holds for all real numbers. And we get to assume this part. This is an if-then proof. So I'm going to say suppose that the absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than 3. And now we have to show that x squared is greater than 6x. Okay, so let's go ahead and take cases. So case 1. So recall that the absolute value of x is a piecewise function. So I'm going to put this here. This is not part of our proof. If you have the absolute value of x, it's equal to x. And that's going to be true if x is greater than or equal to 0. And it's equal to minus x. And that's going to be true if x is less than 0. Likewise, if you have the absolute value of x minus 3, that's going to be x minus 3. And that's going to be true if x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Or it would be minus x minus 3. And that would be true if um, x minus 3 is less than 0. So that would be the case uh, in that particular case. Okay, so one of these two things is going to happen. So let's look at this case first. So this case here first. So x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. So since x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0, we have the absolute value of x minus 3 equal to x minus 3. So that means that we basically have x minus 3 greater than 3. So that basically means that x is bigger than 6. So because we add 3 to both sides. So in particular, it's positive. So then, because it's positive, you can multiply both sides of this equation by x, and it's not going to reverse the inequality sign. So then you get x squared greater than 6x which is what, exactly what we wanted, so we're done. Let's do case two. Case two is x minus three less than zero. And you see, I'm getting the cases from here, from the definition of absolute value applied to x minus three, basically just the definition of the absolute value function. So in this case, we can say since x minus three is less than zero, we have the absolute value of x minus three equal to minus parentheses x minus 3. Then, so again, we have this here, right? So basically, this is this. So then we have negative x minus 3 greater than 3. So this means that negative x plus 3 is greater than 3, which implies that you can subtract 3, so you get minus x bigger than 0. But you can divide by negative 1. So let me just say, I'll use the word so again. So x is bigger than 0, uh, less than 0, sorry. Less than 0, because we're dividing by negative 1. When you do that, you reverse the inequality sign. So let's think about what we have to show. We have to show that x squared um, is bigger than um, 6x. Right? We have to show that. So note. Note, x squared is positive, right? Because um, x is not 0. It's less than 0, so it's a negative number. And when you square a negative number, it becomes positive. And 0 is actually bigger than 6x. And that's because x is negative, right? So in particular, we have x squared bigger than 6x. And we've shown it, and so in any case, we're done. So in any case, x squared is bigger than 6x. And then you can say since 
x was an arbitrary real number, real number, this holds for all x. And that completes the proof. So not too bad. Um, there's probably other ways to show this part here. Uh, let's just think about it for a moment. Like if that wasn't clear, if you have x less than zero, you could easily multiply by six. Then you get six x less than zero. And zero is um, um, less than x squared because x squared is a positive number. So reading that backwards, x squared is bigger than six x. So a couple different ways to arrive at the same conclusion. This is just what came to mind. So kind of a nice problem. Um, and yeah, I hope this is helping someone out there who is trying to learn proofs. Good luck to you.